All right, welcome back to Learning with Merit. I'm Mr. Merritt, and today we're going to discuss using GitHub Classroom as a student. So here I have a very simple assignment called Hello World. This is for Java. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to paste the link that I got and hit Enter. It'll say Accept the Assignment, Hello World. I'm going to click Accept this assignment. It'll take just a second. Most of these are very fast, so you can hit Reload, and there it is, ready to go. You're going to click right here on this link. It's going to set everything up for you. And it's going to start auto running the test. Now your teacher should set up the test and oftentimes you will see more information here, usually like a readme file, for example, explaining what the assignment is. And that's what I will do in my classroom. This is just a simple, basic uh, setup and learning environment so that we can understand what to do. So there's not a lot of that extra stuff in there for this one. All right, so the first thing you want to do, the great thing about this, you don't actually have to be able to use Git or GitHub or anything like that, really. Um, you can just go to file if there's a file there. Or in our case, we're going to add a file. Now, the great thing about this is if you want to go and do all the coding on your favorite IDE or text editor, you can do that. And then you can upload the file here. And you don't have to worry about trying to use GitHub's uh, interface too much. Now what I'm going to do is I am actually just going to create a new file instead of going and editing somewhere else. In this case, the assignment would be to create hello-world.java. Right? And the assignment basically is we want to create our first Java program that simply prints, prints out hello world. So I'm going to say class hello world. Right. Then I'm going to say system dot out print line hello world. Now in this case, the test is very clear. It wants a capital hello and a capital world. So we want to make sure that we don't mess that up. I'm going to add my curly braces, oops, my curly braces to the end here so that my code will check out. Then if I'm doing it here from GitHub's interface, and it's simple enough that I just code it here, I'll go down here and it'll say commit new file. can do that real quick, and it will run. So let's see if I pass the test. So I'm going to click on this real quick. You'll see this little dot. That means that the test is actually running. So the yellow is the dot is the test is actually running. If it returns a red X, then you did not get the points or something went wrong for some reason, so you're not getting the correct output. If it returns a green check mark, you are getting the correct output. Now, if we go to the Actions tab here, we can also see. All right, now, you'll see that what this does is it constantly auto-grades. All right, so you may see one, two, three checks that were wrong, but this is because this was before we actually got the assignment done. You want to look at the most recent check. This was 33 seconds ago. It ran in 20 seconds and you will see that we got a green check mark and all of the points for the assignment. If you want to you can click on auto grading and look at one of these and it will tell you all test passed or all tests passed and you can see that you got the points. If you're having trouble you can go back, edit your code, and it will continue to run the tests until either the deadline has gotten here or you have successfully completed the assignment. I hope this helps. If you have any questions about how to operate with GitHub Classroom, please feel free to reach out to me either in the comments or if you're in my actual classroom in, uh, through email.